Hey guys, it's Adam and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. I actually did a poll on Twitter and this is the one that won. I recently went shopping, I say recently, I actually went shopping like a month ago but I wanted to do a makeup haul because I really like a lot of the stuff I actually bought because I actually spent quite a lot of money. I keep saying actually. I was using like the cheapest shit ever so I went and bought some like more legit stuff that would work better. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you the makeup that I bought because it's what people wanted. And I have a people Twitter. By the way, how cute is this? My mum got me this for Christmas. It's like the cutest thing ever. Who's the fairest of mom? Not me. Because I'm really in fact. What am I know? I've never done a makeup haul, so bear with me. So first of all, I've got this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. Um, it's pretty good because I don't wear it every day. I can't sort of give you like a, oh, it lasts all day. I only ever really wear like skin makeup when I'm on nights out. And it lasts nights out, so I guess it's like must do its job well. It's supposed to keep you like quite matte as well, which is what I like. I like to stay matte because I've got really oily skin and I'm pretty sure this said somewhere that it was good for oily skin. Next, I got this color correcting thing. I only really use the green one because I read somewhere that green color corrector is good for like redness. And I usually get quite red around here and like on my nose, especially my, my nose ring as well. So I got this color corrector. It's basically like a concealer that you like put on, but it like corrects the color and then you put everything else on top. And it works pretty well actually. Like if I forget to put this on, I, I can see the redness coming through my foundation. So next I went out and bought this number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation in Cool Ivory. It's like pretty good, but the thing is about this foundation is it matches my natural skin tone, but usually when I go on a night out I use like tanning lotion which is like that gradual tan stuff that makes you like tanned. And it doesn't usually match my tanned skin, so I think I'm probably going to have to go out and buy like a darker one just to put some drops in. Next I've got this Lasting Perfection uh, Concealer in fair. It's like the lightest one I can find because I usually only use concealer as highlighter. But yeah, I just use this as highlighter. I put it under there and there and there. You know what you're supposed to highlight. Next, I went out and bought a new um, like pressed powder. It's just like a white sort of translucent -y powder that I like use for setting my makeup and baking under my eyes. This isn't actually the new one. The new one's over there, but I couldn't be asked getting it. So this is my old one, but I got another one of these because I needed another one just in case this one like ran out. And also it like broke a little bit. So I was like, oh my God, I need a new one. And yeah, while I'm baking, I use this uh, bronzer for usually contour now because I have like a contour kit that I used to use, but I don't think I like it anymore because sometimes it looks like I've been punching the front, like, side of the face. So I just use bronzer as contour now. Um, it's a, the Revolution Ultra Bronze. Bronzer, like I said before, if I want to look more tanned, I usually kind of do a bit of a, and like blend it around my neck so that I don't look like wearing a mask. Next, I just got this Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder, and I just wanted a loose powder so that I could set my makeup like without having to use my pressed powder because I like to use my pressed powder under my eyes and then my loose powder everywhere else. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it the other way around. But I don't think it's it. oh my god. This setting spray is so good. This is the Revolution uh, Pro Fix setting spray. It's like an oil control fixing spray. I don't really know about the oil side. Like I feel like I still get a bit oily when I'm wearing this, but I think that's just because I've got really oily skin and I haven't really found products that completely sort that shit yet. So I'm still like experimenting, but this works so well for keeping your makeup like actually just on your face in general. I've not got much left because I literally pull on like Jeffree Star it like spray that shit like there's no tomorrow. And Zena, what the hell? Get off? Yeah, if you follow me on Twitter you probably saw me do this but I legit did like a full face of makeup um, sprayed a lot of this on and then like to test it and I went on a two mile run and like the before and after pictures, you could barely tell any difference. My eyebrows had gone a bit like shit, but for the most part, all of my makeup was still on. But I think if this can make my makeup last a two mile run, it's probably gonna make your makeup last like all day. If you're going like on a night or whatever, this shit works. The most exciting thing that I got was this Revolution uh, eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. 
It's called the Iconic Pro eyeshadow palette. I needed a new palette that had like one that I could use for my eyebrows and this one had like a dark brownish colour that I could try and use. It's really pretty and this colour is really really pretty. I love that colour, it's like my fave. I also got these two brushes, what are they? I think they're like Eco Tools brushes. Um, I already had a set of these but I kind of had fucked up pretty much all of the brushes. For some reason I tried to use straighteners on the like the angled brush to make it more like thin but it just fucked up the bristles more i don't know why i thought that was a good idea as you can see they're both double ended so there's like so much you can do with these brushes i love them next i actually uh i wear gel eyeliner because i don't like liquid eyeliner because it's like quite difficult to work with sometimes i wanted to try like a new type of brush and this is like a silicone brush i don't really know how i feel about it it's like good for like tiny little bits but you just keep having to dip it back in the pot which is like kind of annoying. So yeah, I didn't really like this brush that much, so I actually went out today, like when I'm filming this today, I actually went out and bought this, uh, it's the Body Shop, uh, it's like a thin eyeliner felt pen eyeliner thingy, and like it's really thin, um, and like I drew a couple lines on my hand and like tried to do it to draw a little wing and like it worked really well so I was like yeah so like, I'm gonna try that. Next I didn't actually buy this my friend Adele shout out to Adele thank you um actually gave me this it's like a YSL mascara and I don't really like mascara that's like proper gonna make them like massive like I try to keep my makeup like kind of subtle um so I usually like mascaras that just kind of make them a little black like you know just make them instead of like and this was like kind of running out for Adele, so she gave me it and it worked pretty well. I like it, I like the brush thing. And yeah, so thanks Adele. Next I got this Rimmel London White Eyeliner Pencil and I just, I only really bought this because I just wanted to try it, like get one, just in case I ever wanted to try and like experiment and, you know, do crazy shit. I needed like some sort of brow gel or something to set my eyebrows so that they would stay in place because I, up until like, Recently, I had never used any brown gels, I just kind of filled them in and left them like that. But um, Kitty said that using like a clear mascara was what she used to do and it like worked. It's not very clear anymore because obviously like the excess from my eyebrows where I've like gone through has gone back in the thing. So it looks a bit gross, it looks a bit shitty. But it's like a clear mascara and I just use that on my eyebrows to set them and like keep them still. Oh my god, I love this. This is probably one of my favourite things I actually bought. It's a new eyelash curler, but it's like so funky. Like it's got little purple details and it's got like, it's freaking bejeweled. It's like the cutest little thing ever. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my face. I upload new videos every Friday. And uh, if you would like to, you can go follow all my social media links like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, my Spotify playlist. All that will be down below. Anyways, yes, thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next week for another new video. Bye! I need to stop moving my arms so much because it pissed me off last time I was editing and it was really annoying. My cat's meowing, it's really annoying. If you'd like to, you can go for a lot. <laughs> Why did I point at you? Right, to the her, don't give a shit. It's a bit scratchy, isn't it? <gasps> oh, I sprock it. <laughs>